so here we need to follow some uh, steps so first we need to install some packages like dbi or odbc or dbc to install the package go on the install and here let's write uh, r o d b c now here after select this and click on install so now you can see here install package or odbc and uh, this location where package is going to install so here this is the download date 8757 and uh, it's uh, successful now here after next uh, package uh, that required dbi or uh, select this one click on install and uh, now you can say install package dbi so here installing package from this location this is the size 647 successful now here after one more package that require od base select this one click on install so here install package odbc this location where package is going to install so this so three packages are essential to connect to or uh, here post give it as uh, post give it to r studio now uh, three packages that install here after click on file new r script r script now here after the next is we need to uh, use here one we need to install or use uh, one odbc driver for postgre so if i write here control panel let's write uh, control panel now here system security and uh, administrative tools odbc data source and here you can not uh, if i click on this here you cannot see any odbc driver with uh, post key so let's uh, cancel and uh, here in google search box write odbc driver for post key here you need to uh, click this here after download and uh, now you can see this is the directory clicking msi and here this is the latest uh, for 64 bit operating system for click on this this is for 32 bit operating system so this is downloaded click on show in folder and uh, you need to extract this after extracting you get this file and here after you need to install this one so you need to install here i agree install and uh, wait for few seconds so here you can see this is a setup process initializing and uh, so three packages required now here after uh, let's uh, copy this one so this all i'm going to copy and uh, paste here so let's uh, see the uh, status so it's uh, still processing now here i'm you i install three packages dbi rodbc odbc now here con so you can give any name here db connect so this is the function here odbc and uh, z4 so here at this place you need to give the dsn name so when that uh, install then uh, we uh, will use uh, we will create one dsn name you can give any dsn name at this places now here after when that uh, all done so it will connected now here uh, we can go do the query so db query so here that uh, do using con and select start from file one and uh, we will see what will happen when we use uh, file one and uh, what will happen with uh, or this one post key public file one so here this is the now if i go on pc admin so here i'm going to open the post key sql now this is the process here so pc admin it's so uh, now opening and uh, here this is the post key so here let's uh, click on this uh, server now here this is the installation successful click on close here after click here you can see post key and uh, here you can see this is the database you i'm going to use here post key 
and uh, inside the post key or uh, there is the uh, schema and inside there is the file this is there is the table and it has uh, two table first is so right click on it uh, here after the next is a script so you can here count rows so you, we can count the rows so total numbers of rows are or two now here after so here i want to see the record so view data all rows so this is the rows inside two rows now we can see here or uh, a script uh, no view and uh, all rows of the file 5 so this is the rows inside the file 5 now let's uh, uh, back to this place and here again click and click on add here you can see uh, they are or uh, ODBC it's come there you can use anyone whatever you like so first I'm using NC PostgreSQL NC click on finish here let's uh, give the give the DSN name post here database that is here you can see this all database so database using postgres and uh, here table and uh, let's uh, give our database postgres so it is in a small letter now here after so server that is uh, local host and uh, here port 5432 and about the username we will we need to use so here click on login and here you can see this is the user i am going to use postgres user so here postgres and uh, give the password and click on this test connection ok save so here you can see pause it's come there now here after the next uh, is so at this place i have created the dsn name pause now here after it's all done you need to only run this uh, query so click on this run here you can see this is the connected and here you can see file 1 and file 5 now if i write uh, this query so here I am getting the masses uh, error file 1 does not exit so we need to give here first uh, so you can see the hierarchy of this so first is postgres inside postgres here you can see this is the public uh, schema and inside schema there is a file 1 file 5 so that we need to uh, we need to use this query so if I execute this query, here you can see or uh, here DPT number 10 and DNAM accounting research location New York Dallas it's uh, displaying. Now I uh, want to see here or uh, file 5 record. So this is the file 5 record. So here or uh, let's uh, give in this place file 5 now here after execute here you can see this is the record so dpt number and this is the dname this is the dname and uh, here this place location it's a uh, display okay so this the way we can here connect with uh, postgre with rstudio